So now let me tell you how we can operate Cloud DMS directly from the laptop. In other words, if you have a patient, you can set up all the session protocols, treatment protocols on the laptop, and each time the patient comes or comes back the second time or third time, the laptop will take over and know exactly when it's left the last time and start a new session. And I will show you how we can program the laptop to do this. So the laptop now is connected through a USB cable to the machine. So now that the laptop is open, I click on the neuroms.net, and that's the program that actually runs the Cloud TMS machine. And here I go, and I click on this man here, and I can see treatments, hardware, report, view, and setup. So I can select a new patient from treatment or I can select a new treatment from here. When I open this, it's going to open a new fi patient file and I can say test patient like so. And I will say it's a male and I will say the date of birth is 10 is month is 5 and the day is 10, and it's 1982. And here you're gonna see immediately the FDA approved protocol pop up, and you can tell what department the patient was in, and if you press on this, you're gonna see the standard ICD-10 diagnoses if you wanna do that, and of course, you can put the name of the doctor and the assistant. Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna press on the green check mark right here, and as soon as you do that, the machine comes on and you can hear the machine. And the first thing that you're going to come across is the treatment protocol right here. The FDA approved treatment protocols, which is right here, FDA approved. And click this check, green check sign here. And the treatment protocol tells you that it's a depression, 10 hertz, 120% of the motor threshold. That's the level at which you're gonna stimulate the patient. Sessions one out of 30, depression 10 hertz, 120%. And th the stimulation is 120%, 40 pulses, 10 hertz for four seconds. And I'll show you what that means in a minute, 75 of those. So as soon as I press on this right here, right, you will see that the patient will be stimulated at 50. The amplitude is 120% of the motor threshold again and the motor threshold is what you calculate whenever you put the uh, coil over the hot spot of the head. That pulses frequency is 10 hertz, and the train has 40 pulses, so 10 hertz for four seconds is 40 pulses. One hertz is one per second. So if you do 10 per second at for four seconds, essentially, so if you do 10 hertz for four seconds, that's 40 pulses. The number of 40 pulses is gonna be 75, so there'll be 75 trains of four seconds each. And between each train, there's a 26 second break for the patient. That was the FDA approved protocol. If you remember, that's how I set the machine up in the beginning when I was operating it independently. And I like this very much. It shows you 21, 20% of the threshold, 26 uh, seconds rest, 40 pulses at 10 hertz, 75 hertz. So you're giving the patient 3,000 pulses. As soon as I'm done with that, I need to determine the motor threshold. And the motor threshold is essentially tell me at what level am I stimulating over the hot spot that I get a movement of the patient's thumb. Now bear in mind that in the brain, everything is crossed. So if you stimulate the left side of the brain, the right side of the body is what moves and vice versa. So basically here, I'm stimulating the left side of the brain over the hot spot, and I'm using 40% amplitude from here, and I can make it 42 or 44. I'm trying to find out the lowest possible level that I can stimulate the patient on on the left side of the brain to see a thumb movement. That's how you calculate the motor threshold. And when you say 120% of the motor threshold, you do 120% of that. So now imagine that I'm doing the motor threshold and I found that the patient's motor threshold is roughly at 50. 
Uh, I can increase it from the machine or I can increase it from the laptop. As soon as I increase it to this and I start stimulating the patient over the left side of the head because that's what's controlled the right thumb. So bear in mind in the brain, the left side and the brain controls the right side. And now I start seeing a movement of the right thumb and I can say, well, this is a motor threshold. And I, as soon as I press on this, notice that this will turn from red to green right here, it's set at 50. So now I'm gonna go for the stimulation mode. And you see this says session one of 30. It's stimulating over the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, 3000 pulses, duration 3656, uh, close to, uh, it's about 37 and a half minutes. And now I'm gonna say, okay, we're gonna start stimulating the patient, which I do when I press this here play button. That means I wanna start the stimulation. Now bear in mind, the patient is sitting in a chair and this coil is over their head, but I'm just showing the operation of the machine now. And here it's gonna say, place the coil on the stimulation side. So, and if I say yes, I already placed that, and I press okay. So here's what's gonna happen next. As soon as I do this, it starts stimulating. And now the, the laptop is telling the machine what to do. It stimulated 40 here, so 40 pulses. And between pulses, it's gonna rest. So you can see here that the, uh, that the that the timing is going down. So basically it's gonna break for 26 seconds and then it's gonna start again as soon as the 26 seconds are over. The laptop is gonna start the stimulation over again. It's gonna deliver another 40 pulses and it's then it's gonna take another 26 seconds break. It's gonna do this for the entire 37 and a half minutes protocol. And here's what it's doing. That, that was the second stimulation of 10 hertz at four seconds, 40 pulses. Then I wait for another 26 seconds and it gives me that. And as soon as I'm done with that, I can say that this has been executed and the laptop will do that, will, will take care of that. And when next time the patient comes and you open their file, it's gonna start at the second session or third session. Now I wanna show you something else that you can do. That let's say that the patient moved their head while you're doing that. Here it's starting again. Let's say that the patient moves their head. What I can do is I pause, reposition the patient, make sure that the coil is in the right position, and then I do that again and it starts over again. So now, let's say I'm done. I'm gonna press on this button here, stop, and it says mark intervention as executed, and I say yes, it's executed. So basically, as soon as I do that, it's executed. Now it's gonna, session one is complete and I say okay. So to close this treatment, and the save, tre save the treatment, yes. Now, when the patient comes back the next day, if I open this, it already said session two of 30. And again, same thing here, if I press, everything is set up the same way, I can show you here. Treatment protocol, same way. Motor threshold is the same thing. So the computer remembered all of these, okay. And now, I can start stimulation again, and make sure it's positioned in the right place. And now it's stimulating. And as soon as it stops, let's say it's done 40. Let's say I'm done with session two here. And I say yes and save. Session two is complete. And I'm gonna show you real quick here that after I close this and I save the patient, the next time I open this patient, right, it's gonna say it's session three out of 30. So the FDA approves different protocols from time to time. The latest approved protocol is the 19 minutes protocol. So it cuts down the treatment time from 37 and a half minutes to 19 minutes. And I'm gonna show you how you can actually build a 19 minutes protocol on this, on this laptop. So in order to change protocols, I go to setup, I go to treatment protocols, and I choose treatment courses right here. And it says, well, you might not be doing an FDA. Anytime it's FDA approved, you can change treatment courses, but it's warning you here. And here what I do is I click on depression and you see here it has FDA approved and it has 120%, there's another 80% that's not FDA approved. But let's say that I wanna build a 19 minutes protocol. So basically I wanna modify that from 37 and a half minutes to 19 minutes. And here's how I do that, click on this, and I would copy it and paste it. And now I have a copy of this protocol and I can change this copy. 
So basically, let's do this here. And I can call this 19 minutes. And really, the only thing that has changed in this 19 minutes protocol is the break period between the stimulations. So instead of having a 26 break, seconds break period, we're now going to have an 11 seconds break period. And that's where you're cutting on that. So basically, you can still deliver 3,000 pulses, right? And now you can see that this here says there's an 11 seconds rest. Everything else staying the same. So by cutting down on the rest period, you're going to be able to execute that protocol in 19 minutes. And if I like that, I click on this. And now the 19 minutes protocol is, is saved. So let's say I'm going to bring a new patient in here, a new treatment. I click on this and I say test 19 minutes. And I say it's a female, and I'm going to say 0, 6, 10, 19, 88, and I can fill out the rest as I want. But notice here, it says the FDA approved protocol, and that's not the one that I want to choose right now. I want to choose the 19 minutes protocol right here. And I say OK. And now I click that check mark here. And again, treatment protocol, you can, you're going to adjust the motor threshold. And let's say that I can get a stimulation at 40. I fix the motor threshold. It turns green here. And now I say repetitive mode. So here's what happened. Now it's showing you 120%, 40 pulses at 10 hertz, 3,000 pulses, but the rest is 11 seconds, and that's session one. And like I did before, I press on this. And I'm going to say OK. And now it starts stimulating. And it's going to go to 40. But notice that it will not wait 26 seconds to get to the next stimulation. It's going to just wait 11 seconds. So that's how you cut down the time. Immediately as the 11 seconds are over, it starts again. 80. It's going to break for 11 seconds and start again. And it's going to do that 75 times. And now I can stop that. And session one is completed. And the next time the patient comes back in, I'm going to close that. And let's say I'm saving that treatment. And let's say the patient came back in the next day. And you see it says session two. And again, it's going to still do the 19 minutes protocol. So I say this. And I say, yes, I've placed it. And now it's going to do it again. It's going to stop for 11 seconds. And as soon as those 11 seconds are over, and it's timing, by the way, see it says 18 and 17 now. As soon as these 11 seconds are over, it's going to start stimulating again. And that's how you get the 19 minutes protocol.